Hi guys, I'm 50 here. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, you know, Thanksgiving in Canada. So, I, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you have a very um, lovely day. I know everybody's home today. Roasting up the turkey and the ham and all of that. The stuffing. You know, so big up yourself and have a happy, safe Thanksgiving, okay? Anyway, guys, I'm going to do this... Um, this is as, as Jamaican as it get and I get so much requests for a while now to do this um, and it's bulla cake you know um, and this is ginger um, bulla, bulla cake and this is like um, next to Aki and Saltfish in Jamaica this is like a staple you have your bulla cake and your um, bulla cake is mostly eaten with pear and um, your cheese you know yeah the, um, or you have your bulla your box drink and you know bulla basically is a poor man <laughs> you know um food you couldn't afford anything you have a, a, a two bulla and a box drink or bulla and even with bulla you make um you could have your bulla and party anyway folks um this is it here um so i'm gonna show tell you what and what is involved in it okay um okay so we're gonna have and it's ginger bulla we're doing so we have here four cups of flour and it's all purpose flour and we're using with that um, shortening, uh, I think about four or five teaspoons of shortening. I'll leave everything in the description, okay? So that's that's right there. Okay, right now, we are using, you have to eat real ginger. So I um, did this ginger in the um, my magic bullet, so you grind it up. Or if you don't have that, then you can grate it. But this is real ginger. If you don't have real ginger, then you use the next best thing you have. But folks, you will get a better result from this okay from the real thing we're going to be using some molasses folks and the thing about molasses the ordinary molasses out in the store basically have sulfur comes in it and you know if you read most of the bottle um but if you buy organic one and this is one of the best brand i find wholesome organic and there is no sulfur in it i don't know if sulfur is just a regular buy product or sulfur they put in it just to keep it shelf life but if you buy just the ordinary molasses, I guarantee you read the bottle and it will say sulfur in, in it, okay? So this is one of the best brand and this is the organic um, molasses and this one is called Awesome. And, um, you know, it, it's no, it's unsulfured, see? Look for it where it says unsulf unsulfured, okay? Any brand you buy, make sure it says unsulfured um, and that's the one you want because, um, the regular um ones have sulfur in it i just thought i'll let you know that okay all right and we're going to be using some fresh pure vanilla vanilla use whatever you have if you have has, uh, 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 extra but um the real thing is better and we have here about two teaspoons of baking powder and we have a two uh, uh cinnamon we have a tablespoon of cinnamon and we have a tablespoon of a teaspoon of allspice and a teaspoon of um, nutmeg. There's a lot of spice you use in eating bulla cake, folks. And also we're gonna have a we have a quarter um, teaspoon of allspice there, right? And we have um, with not, not a lot of salt. That's about a teaspoon of salt, which is here. And we're gonna use brown sugar. If you get the darker one, that's fine. But you know the molasses is gonna make it very dark. So these are all the ingredients you, you need here, folks. Um, so you have your allspice, your nutmeg, your cinnamon, fresh ginger. I recommend um, salt, um, molasses, and un unsulfured mol molasses, folks. Um, vanilla and your baking soda. And if you want to get your baking soda to really keep active and last a long time, folks. Once you open it, put it refrigerated, and I guarantee you have it for a while, okay? So basically, these are all the ingredients we're going to be needing for our bullet cake. And, uh, oh, and a, and a cup and a half of water, folks, okay? And because I'm, um, okay, so I have a cup of half of water here. Don't look at the greenness, um, guys. I just wash out, when I did the ginger, I just wash out the cup with, um, the ginger um so that's it so that's a cup and a half of water all the wet ones uh, wet things are going to go together right now and you're going to add your ginger whether you're grated or i use the 
magic bullet kind of great and um, you know or you could do it in your blender it doesn't really matter okay and that's the ginger and we're gonna add the vanilla and you know what i better get um because my stove is a confection and it takes a long time to heat up so you put your stove your bit at 350 okay and just let it preheat at 350. So all the, ing the wet ingredients are going to have together and make sure your water is a little bit um, lukewarm because you want to get the, um, the molasses to dissolve, okay? So not hot, but you know, just warm. And you're going to mix all of this, the molasses. Um, And molasses is very good for your folks. And if you want to get rid of your gray hair, you take a certain amount of it each day. Uh, but you have to take it consistently and it get rid of your um, gray hair. Because gray hair has to be get rid of from inside, folks, not outside. So that's what I learned. If you want to get rid of gray hair permanently, I don't know how you do it, but I guess you could go on YouTube and find one of those channels. But I know that molasses... Um, get rid of gray here if it's taken um you have to is a regular thing you have to do yeah molasses is very good for the body you know it has a lot of good properties in it and molasses is made from my uh, sugar and a lot of recipe you could substitute um molasses for because molasses is very healthy so this is all the wet ingredients here folks, okay? Oh, and I forgot, um, the sugar is also going to be added in. Okay? So everything is going to be mixed in right here. And folks, it has such a nice smell. I'll wait to clean off my countertop because I'm going to be doing some kneading on it later on. So folks, mm, the ginger folks, wow. You know, when I was going up, I lived past this guy at a bakery, and I think his name was Dr. Cole. And he, his, his thing was he baked bull and sell to all the, the store, corner shop and everybody. And post, he was on our way to school. And in the morning, when you pass that place, you could smell it miles down, Mr. Cole Buller. And that was one of the best Buller in the, in, in, in the district. You know, it has such a flavor. You can also use coconut in um in in doing a bulla too, folks. So coconut ginger bulla. I did that one before. Yeah. So this now, folks, I'm just gonna set aside here and the dry ingredients. So um first, I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna make sure I'm just crush up the um the shortening in it, and I'm using Crisco shortening. In the butt and the flour. I like to put my thing on a little towel because it's all so you can keep it in place when I'm doing it. I'm just making sure that my camera is focused there, folks, because a few times. So my oven is preheating right now, so I'm just working in the um, shortening and the flour. Just make sure you mix it up very small. And ahead of time, you just I sieve the flour and everything ahead of time and put the shortening so it would um, get soft, so easy to um, dissolve in the flour. Always sieve your flour, for, folks. You get a better result. Okay, folks, and so now I'm going to add in the baking powder. teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I forgot that part. Quarter teaspoon baking soda and all of that I'd leave for you 
in the description. No, his name wasn't Doctor, it was Mr. Cool. Yeah. So mix that all in and we're gonna add in the salt. The cinnamon. And this is the allspice. And you can get allspice in the store, folks. And nutmeg. And folks, we're just going to use the mixture you now to add to mix it. And we're just going to pour this in. in all of it and you're gonna mix up your flour and this is gonna be a sticky mix folks because once it get on the counter and you start you then you add flour to it what is your consistency should be very sticky the smell of the ginger folks and all the spices that's why bullet cake is People love it so much. So it's gonna look like this. Because once you put it ready to mix everything in, so mix it up like this, it should be this consistency. Yeah, I know it looks very runny folks, but don't let that fool you. Because it's gonna get And like I said, I my counter I clean it off already. I just like to use directly my counter. And guys, we're going for hygiene. <laughs> Because I see some video there with people selling food and oh god help those people. Like I said folks, I heat up my yard. Um, I don't eat in restaurants. I used to do it a lot when I was younger, teenager, but I like my home cooking and I eat home. Okay, so folks now we're gonna um, start dropping the flour. but we'll see so folks right now It's a sticky process to get it all. I think I'm just gonna get some more flour on hand. So I'm gonna wash off my hands and go get some more flour. Let me just scrape my bowl out. I'm 
wash my hands off and get some more flour. wash my hands again okay folks so we're gonna mix this in So, see it comes together once the flour hit it. Because we're going to have to have it to a consistency because we're going to need to cut it. telling me that it's, the preheat is done Folks, I'm gonna fold, finish rolling this out, um, and then I'll come right back and show you the finish. Okay, all right, guys, I'm back and um, right now, once you have it, at, if you if you leave it up and it's still sticking to the counter, then make sure you add some more flour to it. It's not supposed to be you're supposed to be able to get it up very easy like that. Okay, if it's sticking, you add some more flour and just keep adding it. Okay. Because we're going to put it to rest for about 30 minutes um, and cover it with a damp um, paper. So just make sure, ease it up to see if it's sticking to the car, if it's sticking to your surface, add more flour to it, okay? And just keep patting it like that. Okay, you see why? You see it's moving freely? That's what you want. That's what you want to have. Free, moving very freely. So I, it's going to be resting for about 30 minutes. Um, covered with a damp cloth okay but this is one you, you want to get it like that see that moving freely then you know that it's okay so I'm gonna add it I'm 
gonna put it in I'm gonna grease the ball I'm putting in just put a little grease so the stick what I'm getting at so when I'm getting out it gets out very easily so this is the bowl here so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes this is what I want to see from see moving very easily okay so just keep patting it okay there you go see you're moving moving right along and if the line part stick you just add a little flower to it okay continuously so this is what you want to have move freely so I'm gonna put it away right now and put a wet cloth on it for about um, 30 minutes I'm gonna put a wet cloth I could put paper towel but I don't use like to use paper towel on my stuff so I have special tea towel that I use just for this purpose so I'm gonna wet the tea towel in cold water Um, you know, to each his own, but I don't like to wet that paper towel put on products that I'm cooking because a lot of these paper towel, I mean, you don't know, even the ones that are there. So right now, this is my tea towel here, and I'm going to cover it, and it's going to be sitting for half an hour, and when I come back, we will start rolling it out and get bola cake, okay? Be right back. Okay guys, it's been resting for an hour and we're gonna um, we're gonna put it on the counter again and um let's get some of this in some fresh on. We're gonna roll it out and we're ready to make our bola cake. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna put down some flour. Here it is. See, tea comes up very easily. Okay, folks. So this is the last thing before we start you rolling pin and roll it out. I got my rolling pin. And just put some flour on my pin. So let's see, folks, how it's going. And we don't want to roll it too flat, folks, okay? Because, you know, you want to get your bulla to be nice and um, in a good shape. I think I could get five out of this. I think I, last time I made it. Five or six. And as I said, you don't want to get it too flat. Then you have flat bulla cake. Make sure you have enough flour underneath the surface so it doesn't stick.
the first time I did it and followed the recipe when I finished doing it I said oh my god this is gonna be too thin but as we go along folks not too thin Make up some people, buy a bigger pistol, jammy hood, and folks go on and please support. Um, please go subscribe to um, Jammy Hood. Um, fire and all the guys down there, but fire need your support to get this channel to a hundred thousand. He's in the process right now making a studio, so the guy, all the kids there have a permanent place. To shoot movie and to edit okay folks so let's see now so the first one let me try I'm using my how much I can get from this I'm post one more thing right now what you have to do I have some melted butter and you're gonna put um wax paper and make sure you put some butter uh, melted butter on the wax paper Otherwise, the bullet cake will stick, okay? So put some, use your brush and brush on some. And brush on some um, butter, some melted butter on the wax paper, okay? Right, just like this. Okay, so when the bullet goes on it, it does not stick. stick. Let me see, folks, if I'm able to get one up now. What it looks like. Is it gonna. Okay, so this is one, folks. I hope I get five. Um, well, you know, usually the pieces that left can um, turn out. And, and you know, if your bullet is stick together when you're baking it folks don't worry because um that's how bullet bakes they stick together and you have to pull them apart and folks this is another one here so that's two right there you see that and we're going for three i'm just using like a dessert um, size um a dessert bowl to um to get them This is one more here. I think we might get because I'm gonna okay. And this is one more. So what I have to do with this now, folks? I have to all mix it up back because this is a lot to just leave there like that. I think we get two more out of this. I said you don't want to do them too flat Let's see if I can 
Maybe the mustard too. Another one here. And I'm gonna try to go for one and maybe a little piece might left over. One more. See when you flower it you can easily move them around. Give them some space. Well they're gonna stick together. That's what bulla bake. Okay. Let me see what we can do for this one. I think we think might be able to get one more. Yeah. And a little piece over I can make a little one for my niece and nephew. A little bulla for them. I think we might get one more folks. Yeah, because the last time I think it's five or six I got. It's gonna bake for 20 to 25 minutes. When you hear that cut down, ah, that's it, that's it. Folks, this is the bulla right here, bulla. Okay, and this piece we're just gonna Okay, so let me just wash my hands off. Okay. Come back to that little piece. There was so that they can let another little bowl out with that. Right now, I just want to get the six in the oven. And one of the things you do right now, folks, is you're gonna, um, You're gonna put some uh, butter, melted butter, over on it. On your bulla cake. That gives it a nice, um, when it bakes. Mind you, they're not gonna be, um, look all the same exact size, but they're pretty much, um, and I wanna save a little butter for when they come out. You then you glaze them again, you put some. Here for so folks right now it's gonna go, they're gonna go into the oven um 350 degree in a preheated oven and for 30 25 30 minutes okay so i'm gonna stick them in the oven right now and you put your make sure your thing is center in the center okay um is that in the center and it's hot right now folks so anyway folks i'll just just a minute i have to just bring that back so i have to put the rack in the center always have your baking rack in the center okay and folks they're going in the oven right now for 20 uh, so folks that's them there Going in the oven. See, they're in the, going in the oven. And they will be baking for 25 to 30 minutes, okay? So in 30 minutes, guys, I'll see you again, okay? I have to finish product, okay? Hi, guys, I'm back. And the bull that just came out of the oven. Look at that, folks. And those beautiful? Just came out of the oven. And so right now, I'm just going to dab on a little butter on them once they come out hot you put some butter on them yeah melted butter guys it's not very hard to do you know 
And you see them here in the store, you get about two in a package for like, um, what, um, almost three dollars. And guys, these are done freshly, um, with your own hands. And you see that your hands are clean doing it, you know, so that's the difference right there, you know. One came out a bit larger, but because, um, like I said, you don't want to knead them, so they come up because bulla is supposed to be flat, like bami, okay? So my niece already claimed that one, this one here. Yeah, she wants that one. Okay, folks, so that's basically it there. So you know the tradition, guys, um, with bulla cake. It's eaten with either pear or cheese. And the thing about it, folks, I don't care anybody want wine. That cheese that we have in Jamaica says Jamaican cheese. It's not really made in Jamaica, folks. It's from New Zealand, and it is salt, salt, salty. I grew up with that. It's not an ambition, but um, I grew up with it. And, folks, that thing is so salty, you know. Um, so I prefer to get a nice little piece of um, goodas. Or you could use um, any other real cheese. And this is real cheese gouda. I'm not knocking anybody to each his own. But um, every time I eat a piece of that New Zealand cheese that we call Jamaican cheese, um, my blood pressure goes up, you know. So I try to avoid it. So basically it's pear. You have to have your bullet cake with a piece of pear, slice of pear. Like I'm doing here. And are some cheese. I think I'm gonna use a, a bigger platter. And guys, I know back home people have the bag juice to wash it down. And that's it. Is that that's it? It's a Jamaican tradition, folks. It's a Jamaican tradition. I like hockey and salt fish and everything else. People still love the bulla cake. <laughs> you know? It's a Jamaican tradition. So let me just put it over here. And you can make them any size you want to make them, you know? So this is the bulla cake right here. And you can have them with your pear. A couple slices of pear. Or cheese, and like I said, I bypass that cheese, New Zealand cheese, Jamaican. We're so good, we should be able to make our own cheese, you know, instead of getting that imported. Um, all that is, folks, is um, food coloring and a lot of salt. And you know what? I don't care if anybody wants to take offense, the truth is always offense, right? <laughs> Just ask the crab lady. You know, just ask Miss Crab Lady, not knocking anybody. So this is the cheese I'm using here, folks. A nice piece of gouda. It's it's worth it, folks. And I saw the small tin of the um one that we get in Jamaica. They're selling here for um like thirty two dollars. You know, thirty two dollars worth of salt. And food color and that's all that is give you high blood pressure so I'm just um, this little piece of gold uh, I think is about I don't remember how much it is but this is real cheese folks yeah. see the color is much duller than um Jamaican one because it's real real cheese and again folks I like when you use um mind you when you use um the molasses try get the unsulfured one because the regular one has sulfur in it folks and that is not good okay so that's it basically so guys this is my Take on it. I got six bullets. I'm not gonna play all of them. Six bullet cake and guys, let me break one and show you. Look at that. 
Look at that, folks. Moist. Moist to the tea. See that? Taste it. Mmm. Guys, you can taste that. The ginger is awesome. Mmm. Okay, folks, so... <laughs> my mouth is... Mm. Folks, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Go over and support Jamie Wood, Best Fire. He wants to get to 100,000, folks. Please um subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel, Empress G. And Marie and Melo. Papai, okay? Well, guys, have yourself a happy Thanksgiving the rest of the day. And I thought it would be a nice little treat here for um, Thanksgiving Day. Jamaican Ginger Buller, folks. Everybody have a blessed day and big up yourself. Peace.